so slightly cold one it's uh, yeah it's not warm uh, but what a nice spot to uh, to wake up to lovely mown field and all the pylon and we've got some interesting structure up there not quite sure what uh, big stone circular building is so I'll do a bit of research on that yeah Josh is warming up um, I don't particularly have a plan for the day other than to find somewhere decent to moor this evening and um, we're lock free today do, do, do. Um, so yeah should be just I don't know, hopefully nice cruising. Hopefully there'll be some decent stuff to see. It's going to get quite urban in places, I think. We're seeing some sort of towns and villages um, around Manchester. We're not going to go into Manchester Centre, but we go, I think we go through Timperley and um, places like that, around Trafford, where the Trafford Centre is. Not sure, for, not sure we'll make it that far, actually, uh, today, but I don't know, who knows? We're just going to uh, set off and see where we get to, see what we see, so all part of the adventure. So Josh is, uh, is warming through. Um, I was tempted to put a coffee. I'm gonna go and make a coffee, actually. I've got a can of sort of monster energy. Um, other brands are available, um, but I don't think that's really a morning thing, is it? So let's get, let's get a pot of coffee on the go. Right, that's better. There we go, I've been running for about 30 seconds, a minute, on our first arrow. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to make a prediction that we're not going to see too many uh, too many other boats today. Might be wrong. Although to be fair, they are closing the the, uh, the Trent and Mersey again in uh, don't know what a week and a half or something. So yeah, there will be, I suppose there will be people wanting to get to their winter mooring spots, won't they? And won't want to get stuck on, uh, on the Trenton Mersey. So maybe we'll see quite a few, I don't know. The sky's cool at this time in the morning. Smart, isn't it? There's some sort of water tower or old water tower or something up there. Oh no, actually it's got windows. So is that? Well, like an observatory, what's that then? Oh, I don't suppose we're near Manchester Airport, are we? Are we? No, I'd have some planes everywhere, wouldn't I? Just wondering whether that could have been air traffic control, but. It's our first bridge of the day coming up. Doesn't feel like the best spot for kingfisher spotting, but. I hope I'm wrong on that as well. Right, so apparently we're near a place called Daresbury. So then, why does Daresbury need a structure like that? Answers on a postcard. Yeah, so there's a building up there called the Innovation Centre. So I'm wondering whether this is some sort of science and technology park. So it's quite an impressive uh, setup. It's very, very well attended. These outdoor meeting spaces then. Some little pods. A pods for a smoker's cabin. Got this, we've got this place very well managed, gosh. I've got to say, so far the bridge water's excellent. I can't, can't imagine we're going to keep this up. Right, so I have a bit of a system going because I'm on my own. Can't really reach into the galley to grab the, uh, the coffee. Don't want the coffee outside getting too cold too quickly. So I've wrapped it in my coat to keep the cafeteria the air semi insulated with the additional bag. Oh, I think it's 
soon, still going, still going. Well, I'm soon hitting the game because he's just gone into where that tree is. That was a lucky catch. <laughs> um, right, well, I'll, I'll keep eyes on him while I tell you about the coffee. Um, so, yeah, it should semi insulate the cafetiere, which we still need. Um, with the added benefits, it should warm my coat up for me. So, when I'm ready, the coffee's gone and the coat should be nice and toasty. So, that's the plan anyway. Oh, full of the rock beans. How is that rock beans here? How's that rock beans on a canal that doesn't have any logs? On the non towpath side, so maybe they are rock beans. It's nicely ploughed. That's the technology park. These outbuildings for this farm. Oh, what a lovely place to live. <laughs> du, du, du. Not too trusting of the, uh, the shed then. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a house that is. Gosh. Oh, I got bumped by a tree. It's Cheshire, darling, Cheshire. Cottages. I like the round, sort of round, t almost turrety uh, end ones. It's unusual, very unusual, in fact. Yeah, they've tried on the extension, haven't they? Uh, some old tile on the roof. Yeah, yeah, you probably just about got away with that. This is the village of Moor. It's an interesting extension on the end of that building. <laughs> what? Oh, oh dear. Oh, what's going on there then? What? Go out for a sky. They're good around here today. Right, well, so far the bridge water is keeping up the standard. This is very, very pleasant. So you probably can't spot him, but the guy behind me uh, just walking through the bridge is very short. So, he said morning. I said it's a bit cold for shorts, isn't it? He went, oh, it might warm up later. Oh, okay. I'm going to continue wearing my hat and you'll note that the coat is now being worn as well. Uh, Semi-successful on the coffee, cafetiere, warming of coat. Cafetiere needed to be bigger to warm the entire coat. But I think it was a, the experiment was a semi-success. It's had some hammer from the horses, hasn't it, where the ropes have just worn away. Like on the other side, how oh, it's been uh, rendered, rendered repair. Talking of horses. Every time the gust, uh, a gust of wind hits this tree, sort of something falls off it. Something quite heavy looking. So I'm going to uh, try and avoid that. I'm not bonking on the head with a, you know, whatever comes off a tree like that. Ease. So we need a 
still a pair. No, it's like it's just one big house. <laughs> cool. It's going to be cool, isn't it, when that terrace is finished? Fabulous view up the canal as well. Right, it's officially cold. My angel wouldn't like this temperature. <laughs> oh, look how red that tree is. That's a corker. It's nice, isn't it? Oh look, we've converted the uh, top of the garage to some sort of office. A living accommodation, lovely. Never nice seeing boats like that. So we haven't seen one of these lifeboats since, well, since London Way, really. It's the first one in uh, ages. It's uh, undergoing some work. 66 people. Oh, right. I've now got two fleeces and two coats on. It's just, it's been a headwind all morning, so bitterly cold. It's about 10 degrees, but of course when you're moving, um, when the boat's moving and you've got that in your face, and you're not really moving your body, uh, yeah, it's bitterly cold. Anyway, the background noise. is the M6 motorway. Touch lonely out here. So I've been going for three and a quarter hours, and I think I've seen two other boats going in the opposite direction. So, so so far it is what I uh, predicted the canal might be like. So it's very nice though. Some lovely colours on the trees. So far, so good. It's very clean. There's hardly any litter knocking around the canal. There's loads of leaves in the canal, as you can imagine. But uh, you know, but there's no, yeah, there's no big pieces of litter or or any issues. I was born a southerner, so I can. Oh, what the hell was that? What was that? <laughs> what? Some nice sign writing on Sapphire. Yeah, I like that. You think there'd be a big sign, wouldn't you, saying this is such and such a place? Actually, a boaty place.
say, oh, I wouldn't want to moor down here. Unless you work for it, I guess. One of the good things about the bridge water is just how wide it is. So if you look behind me, we're hardly making any ripples in the water. Yet my Easy Speed app says that we're doing three miles an hour, so you can uh, you can make some progress on here without upsetting anyone. Normally, when you get to board boats, we'd be a tick over. No need to do that here. Hmm that fly tipping then? I think so. All you're going to do is get a load of rats. Well done. Just warmed up a degree or two. Ooh. Needed to. As you know, we are partial to a good tree. Look at that, that is a Billy Blinder. Cracking spot for a house. Hell of an extension, jeez. Such a shame, isn't it, seeing old buildings like this? These moorings are rather uh, convenient for the train station. That long straight had Police station. <laughs> cool cafe boat. Wanton boat. It's a nice boat for sale. Sadly, no price. Right, so we're on our way up to Stretford now. So, making good uh, progress. I can see some more rowing boats ahead. Got to watch out for those things. They've got massive oars. They take up most of the canal. Of course, you don't want to hit one of those things. You can do some serious damage.
Argentina. Stretford Marine. I was thinking about getting some diesel, but it's not obvious where you'd get it from. I don't see a pump. Talking of diesel, I think somebody's leaking. A really strong smell of fuel, and you can see over the pullet. So given the price of fuel, that's costing somebody a few quid, isn't it? OK, so just here on the right is where the Bridgewater Canal sort of shoots off up towards central Manchester. And then to the left, the canal goes up towards the Leeds Liverpool. So we're going to go left. As you can see, there's quite a, uh, quite a sort of stream from right to left. So just need to be careful not to get uh, pushed into the canal bank on the left. So I'm going to give a honk just in case anyone's coming and then uh, make a turn. Feels a bit like it's going to tip it down. It's getting really blustery and windy and dark. I might be getting wet fairly soon. There you are, that's where your Kellogg's are made. So after, well, what's, what's gone on with my headgear? Um, anyway, <laughs> so after having a headwind all day, suddenly we've got a tailwind for the first time. It's like 10 to four, suddenly we've got a tailwind. Doing three and a half miles an hour, and as you can hear, only just over tick over, so that's quite nice. Save a bit of fuel as well. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm all bad at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, how much that will buy that? Oh my gosh, it's windy up here. <laughs>
Wowzers. Gosh, I'm, I'm not quite sure that my eyes can comprehend what I've just seen. I just think that people... What? Jeez. It's like the sea. It's absolutely huge. People, people take narrow boats up there. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, fair play to them. <laughs> yeah, one for another day. Put that on the list. Sue would hate that. <laughs> wow. Right, it's been quite Manchester y. Like roads and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Actually, folding seats. Yeah, this is a bit more what I expected to see. I wonder why that lozenge was, uh, was there. Was there a previous one? Change colour. Just made a sharp left turn, and that gives us now a nice straight run to Worsley. So when we get to Worsley, really on far, we can switch it over onto the Leeds Liverpool, the Leon. I think my, my plan, working plan, is to stop uh, on the bridge water, but as close to the Leeds Liverpool as I can. So for anyone like me who's interested in cars as well as boats, I think those just aged really, really well. 14 years on, a nice R8. Still looks a bit of a stir, doesn't it? Bet these are a few quid. So look what a difference that makes. So new build houses, da dee da dee da, and they put stone, dry stone wall in. Cost for them, but it just makes such a difference. As in road as well. Oh, lovely setting.
we have Worsley dry dock to our starboard side. Continuation of the canal to the port. Isn't that just the most fabulous house you've seen in ages? Oh my word! So much history in one. at the end of the day. Let's expect some rain. I wonder whether these cranes were used to close bits of the canal so that you can sort of put something over there. All these sorts of areas stopping some of the... Oh, in fact, look. That's almost like a massive sluice gate. these gates, these mesh gates are to stop nefarious characters from doing nefarious things. Right, just to prove that I'm not an old fuddy-duddy, I don't like graffiti, that's well known, but you know, some, uh, there's something going on there, isn't there? Some effort. And it's on a concrete motorway bridge, not a you know, Victorian bridge. Given the fact I've been wearing a hat all day, that's um, it's probably not too bad, is it? Oh, right, so this. This was a bus though, it was blocked with that. This appears to be the home of Bridgewater Cruises. make no apologies for taking so many videos of the evening skies. Just look at that. It's absolutely stunning. And it's there for the taking, it's free. Uh, it's quarter past six in the evening. Been going for 10 hours solid. I don't quite know how far we've we've uh, we've done in mileage terms. It's gone cold. My face is really cold again. Um, so apologies for that. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think yeah, I think I'm pretty much ready tomorrow, to be honest. And uh, yeah, get something to eat. Put a log or two on the fire and warm up with bits of me that uh, have no feeling anymore so I was hoping to get to somewhere where I could get something like a pizza for uh, for dinner but it's not like that's going to happen so I shall raid the cupboards and see what we have as emergency food supplies so don't really want to be going for any more than about 15-20 minutes if I can avoid it so see how we get on Assume these uh, lights denote a pub. Can relieve me of uh, cash monies that I don't have, so uh, as nice as it is, we'll, uh, we'll carry on. Right, I'm calling it. It's mooring time.